these drawers do tend to get messy, like... Oy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I organize my drawers. I have two nightstands, a chest, and then a dresser. Um, I probably should have done this video back when I did like my room tour. But back then, I didn't have it as organized as I have it now. So I just decided to do it now. So that's why I'm doing it. If you're curious about what my room looks like, like more details and where I got everything, like my furniture and stuff, make sure to go check that video out. I'll have it linked down below. It was like so two years ago, but I mean, everything is still the same. Things haven't changed, so definitely go check it out if you're curious. So back to the organizing. Honestly, I'm not the most organized person. I'm organized, but then again, I'm messy. I'm like a little bit of both. I like keeping things like very tidy and like nice. But then when it comes to like getting ready and stuff, I don't put stuff away. I'm like, if I'm getting ready or changing or something, things are going to be flying everywhere. And then when I have time, I'll clean it up. I'm not one to like, oh, I'm changing my shirt. Let me put it back. Like, no, that's definitely not me. But when I see that there's a mess, then I'm like, okay, girl, get it together, clean it up. So then that's when I clean it. So a few times a week, I like to deep clean my room so it can be organized. And then within like a day or two, it becomes like a freaking tornado again. But whatever, that's just how girls are, you know? So it's just what it is. So now back to the organizing. So the way I have my drawers organized, as you're going to see, is pretty much the same way for each one. I do have a lot of stuff, so it was kind of tough to try and get everything in there. These drawers aren't the biggest. They're actually, I have more drawers now with this furniture that I have than what I used to have before. But these drawers, like the little ones, were, are definitely smaller than what I used to have. Like I have more drawers, but they're smaller. So it's like smaller things fit into them. But I made it work because I just divided each category in different drawers, as you're going to see. So even though I did fold everything the same way in each drawer, I did want to go through each one so you could see how different types of clothing categories look. Like how big, how small, just so you can get a better idea. So with that said, if you're curious about how I organize everything, then let's get started. So I'm starting off with my nightstand, which are the drawers that I use the most because it includes my bras and undies so in this top drawer right here let me show you I have all my bras like stacked up against one another and this way I get to see exactly what I have and if I need a certain bra I know exactly where it's at like let's say I need a strapless one I can tell that it's right here and right here so then this way it gives you a better idea of what it is that you have that way things don't get lost within one another you know so then the way I do it when I need a certain bra and then I need to put it back so let's say I want this gray one right here so I'll get it carefully and then to put it away I don't put it back in its spot I just like push the ones that I already have laid out and then just like continue the line you know so just put it back in the front so then if I were to pull this one out I would just put it in the front I just don't put it back where it's at so just keep the line pushing and then that way everything just stays the way it should you know it doesn't become all like crammed or anything so this side is the regular padded bras and then on this side I have like my bralettes and sports bras and things like that so the way I do that let's say this bralette right here so this is a bralette the way I fold it is I just fold it in half push in the padding bring in the straps and then just it in like that and then this way as well I get to see exactly what I have if I need a certain bra I know where it's at so that way things don't get messy so you're gonna see a pattern with the way I have all of my things organized in my drawers you're gonna see that they're all folded like next to each other like this going down the drawer instead of folded on top of each other going up the drawer there's nothing wrong with folding it like that but that way you don't see exactly what it is that you have and for some reason it tends to be messier and it's more bulkier so this way thanks to Pinterest I figured out that you can fit more things and it's like way more organized. So yeah, this is how I organize all of my bras. So now this bottom drawer, I have all of my undies. So on these two rows, I have my undies. And then in this row, I have just random undergarments. Like some shorts, some booty shorts, some fajas, some slip dresses. Just things if I ever need them. So yeah, I have my underwears right here. And I'm not going to lie to you and say that I had my underwear set up like this before this video because I didn't I had them just stacked up like against one another like just flat out like that and then just stacked up against one another I don't know I've had them like that forever and then I was like the rest of my drawers are folded and look nice so let me do that to my underwear so that's what I did and so far so good because now I can actually see exactly what it is that I have so the way I fold them is just lay them flat fold them in on both sides and then fold it down like that and then just put it in between one another so just like that I don't know about you guys but there's certain days where I'm in a certain mood for a certain pair of underwear 
so now I know exactly where it's at so I'm feeling some little lace lace right there I want some I don't know seamless right there you have more room and you can see exactly what it is you have so yeah this is my underwear drawer so on my other nightstand on the top drawer I have some sleeping shirts so this section right here are tank tops that I used to sleep some like muscle shirts and things like that and then right here I have my undershirts just like regular camis and then over here some like team t-shirts that I rarely wear so that's why they're there not hung and then all these right here are t-shirts that I wear to sleep so this side is folded pretty self-explanatory you just fold it a couple of times so this one is strapless you just fold it in half and then another half and then another half so then this section the section that has the most fabric like that's not dented is a section that I put up there you go and now for the t-shirts so the t-shirt is pretty much the same thing you just fold in the sleeve so to fold the t-shirt you fold it in half vertically this is hard to do because of the angle that I have the camera sorry about that but yeah so it's folded vertically and then you fold in the sleeve to make the shirt like a long rectangle so then you bring in the end fold it and then you could fold it another time or just do it like that Oy. Las greñas. oh my god <laughs> so let's fold it and then there you go Ta -da. so in this bottom drawer right here I have all of my socks honestly there's no really special way on how I have it set up I just have it like on this side I have my short small socks and then in the middle it's my long socks and then over here in the corner it's like all my fuzzy ones I honestly don't think there's a special way to set these up because let's be real it's gonna get messy anyways there's too many socks to have it super organized you know I'm sure it's gonna get all mixed up either way but this works for me so yeah now moving on to my dresser drawers so in this one right here I have all my denim shorts folded practically the same way as the other things so this one is a little bit more cramped as you could see like my shorts barely fit in there so the way I fold them is just fold it in half and then another half and then in this part right here like I said the curved part stick that in between the other shorts so this does become a little bit more bulkier because you know denim fabric is like more thicker so it's not as easy to put next to each other as like the t-shirts because you know like jersey fabric tends to mold with whatever's around it you know so this can get a little bit more tougher but it still works so these aren't the biggest drawers in the world like it doesn't have much height to it so since it's a longer in length than in width it works out much better for my denim shorts so this is how i have them set up so in this drawer right here i have like my unique leggings so i have my pattern leggings sequin leggings workout leggings because i work out so much you know <laughs> yeah right and then some like joggers back here and then biker shorts so these are pretty much folded again like everything else just fold it a few times let me show you so fold it in half and then bring the ends fold it again and then one more time and then just stick this part in between everything else you're gonna see that it's gonna get bulkier for me because i just have so much shit that oh my god it's so damn hard to freaking try to organize when you have a shitload of stuff so yeah bear with me at least this somehow keeps it more organized you know than if it were to be like on top of each other so yeah these are my leggings and this is my drawer so here is another legging drawer this one's my favorite because it has all my black ones and a few colors but yeah these are the ones that i wear the most so these are pretty much folded like the other ones just fold it next to each other pretty self-explanatory two rows yeah so right here I have more shorts so in this section it's some like lightweight shorts that aren't denim so just like different fabrics of shorts and then this whole row right here is skirts so I have some denim skirts some skater skirts and then some maxi skirts in the back these are all pretty much folded the same way as the shorts. I get to see everything that I have. If I want a certain pair of shorts, I can see exactly what it is. And when you see it, you wear it sometimes. So this one consists of my long sleeves. And then I have like a set of joggers right here. And then some other joggers in the back. 
So this one was kind of hard to like make it look neat like the other ones because long sleeves kind of like have different widths. So that's why it doesn't all look like it's the same size but I still made it work. So the way these are folded, you fold it in half and then you bring in the sleeves and then bring it to the end and then fold it one more time. So material like this is definitely easier to get into like in between each thing because it's like lightweight and flexible as opposed to like the jeans which don't stretch as much, they're thicker so that's why those maybe didn't look quite as organized as these. And as you can see here, I had some room so I was able to fit two because the width of these are like tiny, you know? Tragreña, oh my god. <laughs> so this one has all of my plaid shirts and finals folded in two rows. So the way I fold these is I fold them in half. I usually have them like with the buttons on the inside. And then bring in the sleeves to create like that long rectangle. Fold it again and then again and just stick it in. If you don't want your shirts to get all wrinkly and stuff, then maybe this wouldn't be the best idea for you because it's not going to be folded like so neat. At least I don't fold them so neat, but that doesn't bother me. But if you're worried about wrinkling them, I guess I would say the only suggestion would be to actually hang them in your closet. But if you don't care about that and you don't mind steaming them or ironing them, this is a good way of seeing like the colors that you have and seeing everything that you have, you know, so yeah. Now on to my bigger drawers. So this one consists of my cold weather PJs. I have like the cozy sets right here, a onesie, another set, and then I also keep my sweaters that I used to sleep here. So this is another one that's hard to kind of like organize because the fabric is so bulky and like the whole thing is so bulky when it comes to like cold weather stuff and like sweats and things like that. It's always going to be hard to organize because the things are just so heavy duty. So this is how I did it. Tried my best. It works out for me. So yeah. You know, another damn greña so this one is probably one of my favorite drawers it consists of my sweats and pj bottoms so over here i have like my fleece pj pants and then just right here sweats i pretty much live in this drawer when i'm here at home you're rarely gonna see me in jeans like i get home take my bottoms off and put one of these on this is like my drawer right here you done ay 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 this girl my hair falls off a lot so that's why this is a daily issue this one isn't as hard to organize as the other one because sweats are still bulky but they're not as bulky as the other ones because they're like sets these right here the fleece ones do get kind of hard to fold because they're so thick and it's hard to like squeeze them together you know so that's why i just have those in their own row now moving on to my chest drawers this top one right here has all of my sweaters so I have three rows since it is wider. So this way is way easier and better because the drawer doesn't get stuck with the clothes. You see how I could open it easily. There are a few drawers that I still have issues with that because it's like bulky items, but you'll see right now. So in this one, I have my hoodies. So I have three rows of hoodies and this drawer was actually the one that used to get stuck when I had the hoodies folded on top of each other. Like I will not be able to open it as freely as I can right now. So folding it like this definitely saves space and it just is definitely way more organized. So let me show you how I fold them. So you fold it half. Bring in the sleeves. Bring in the hoodie. Bring in these sleeves if it hangs from the bottom. Fold it in half. And then fold it again. So that's how I fold those and this is honestly another one of my favorite drawers for this cold weather because hoodies are so damn comfortable. So yeah. In this one I have more sweaters. I have some zip sweaters right here. Regular sweaters with no hoodie. Some sweatshirts right here. Oh my god, this one is the best freaking sweater in the world. The most cozy. Victoria's Secret Sherpa sweater. If you don't have it, go get it. Thank me later. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So see, with an item like this, it's like way more bulkier. So it's like it takes up way more room as opposed to two sweaters. So you gotta keep that in mind. But other than that, everything fits here. I could open the thing easier, which is good. I'm just glad I was able to find a way to organize like my bulkier items with actually being able to still open my drawer, you know. So finally figured it out. Yeah. 
So here is the drawer that is hard to open a little bit because this fabric is like definitely bulky. I have like more sweaters, but it's like the fuzzy sweaters. So that is definitely way, way, way bulkier than everything else. So right here, I just have regular knit sweaters. And then right here, the fuzzy ones, the ones that are the most comfortable, but they're the most like bulky, you know? Even though it's hard for me to open, it's like easy for me to close, so there's no issue. And by the way, I apologize for like the weird angles that I may have going on with this drawer, but as you can see, my bed is like right here, so there's like no other way of me getting a good angle. And I don't want to hold the camera and stuff, so I apologize for that. But yeah, this is my drawer that gets stuck. But see, I can close it. And you would never know. <laughs> so last but not least, I have a few things over here. So on this whole row right here, I have my swimsuits and then some like cover-ups in the back and then cover-ups right here. And then this section right here are the shorts that I wear to sleep like when it's hot. I mainly like to wear basketball shorts. So that's pretty much what I have. Just like big baggy shorts is what I love to wear. And then I have some PJ sets right here and then some like more biker shorts right here to work out you know work out because that's what i do and then some just like shorts to chill in you know and then some like silk pajamas in the back so yeah pjs pjs bikini stuff so yeah pretty much folded the same way as everything else let me show you the way I fold these so i fold them in half and then half again and then just half one more time so it's gonna be like you're gonna end up with like a long triangle triangle this girl a long rectangle and then you just put it in and there you go so yeah this is my last drawer and whatever I don't have in these drawers I have somewhere in my closet so that was how I organized all of my drawers I really hope you guys enjoyed it so if you're thinking about organizing your drawers like this I would suggest keeping up with it maybe like once a week or when you put away laundry like don't let it pile up and become messy because then you're gonna forget about it and you're gonna be like whatever and then a messy drawer makes it not want to open you know like you saw the struggle I had with these so make sure don't let it get messy just Keep it tidy, keep it clean, keep it organized, and then that way you can see everything that you have. I really hope you guys enjoyed this organizing. Let me know if you want to see what my closet looks like. It's not the most organized, but uh, I don't know. People are curious about it, you know, so let me know. So make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Turn on those post notifications so you'll never miss a video. Leave me some comments down below. Like this video, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.